Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? It's a Loser 21 vlog. I'm here. Welcome to Where the Magic Happens. I have given you a tour in the past and yeah, that's just a bad one. So, so excited guys. Running out of content literally. But I hope you enjoyed the uh, the latest vlogs, all the uh, analysis of different albums, all the album reviews. My new fans, check them out. But yeah guys, it's been busy. Been busy on the vlog. Put the song out. Went to bed, woke up, Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller, crazy plays, everything like that. I sat there, I was freaking out. Like I was going crazy. I sat there next to the computer and refreshed and refreshed just to see all the fucking views and shit and Google my name and shit and see what's happening and it was Damn, I ain't be going psycho, the mama back I'm with the Tony Romo for crunching all the balls Damn, I ain't be going psycho, the mama back like Michael I did put a thing on, uh, on Instagram yesterday I was like asking people, do you want a Post Malone album review or whatever you call, I don't know what, what even I call these videos but do you want a Post Malone video and everyone said yes it was 100% yes in the poll on my Instagram story if you follow me there Louise 21 official by the way but thank you guys for joining me and yeah it's, it's different the vlog has changed it's not so much a vlog less vlogs more like reviews of different artists and albums and bands whatever you want to call them music reviews I don't know, I don't know. album reviews as to say reaction music video I don't, I don't know I don't know guys I cannot speak in English anymore. I want to find a way to do subtitles as well for my foreign viewers or my friends and family overseas in Italia. So, ciao a tutti. <laughs> I might have to do a vlog in Italian, guys. A full Italian vlog. For those of you who don't understand Italian, learn. You know what I mean? There are people over there learning English. So, but yeah, if you want to learn English, and well, you wouldn't understand what I'm saying anyway. Anyway, Post Malone. So, he's born in New York, by the way, if you didn't know. Austin. So, I think that's his name. You're not even speaking to my friends, no. Hey, 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 hey. You think that you are better now, better now. You Austin something, yeah. And then he moved to Texas. And his dad worked, like, for the Dallas Cowboys in some aspect like in the, I don't know like behind nothing major but he did work his dad worked for the Dallas Cowboys so Post Malone as a young lad would always get to go to, to the NFL games and yeah so of course you know his first song White Iverson that is what he says to this day is his best song he's ever written his best song I mean it's, it was uploaded to SoundCloud uh, obviously the video hadn't been made the video came later but yeah, it was uploaded as a song to SoundCloud and then from there he really hit it off with that song and he's on his like third album now Beer Pongs and Bentleys or whatever you call it featuring so many good songs of course there's, you got Psycho on there, you got Rockstar featuring 21 Savage a lot of featurings as well and he is, he is a popular name he's a household name now I mean Sony was a good album too there's a lot of featuring on there, you know, Quavo, a lot of other people. Uh, he did feature Justin Bieber in the past. I think this is maybe his fourth album. I will put something in and around this video 
to tell you that and give you his date of birth at some point. I mean, I, I can't remember offhand, but I do know that when I've written the script for these videos, anyway. So Post Malone, I'm a big fan. Always been, like, since hearing his other albums. I've got all his albums, by the way. One of them, I'm one of the people who just downloads music, beyond belief, when I'm not vlogging. I always forget to, though. So yeah, Post Malone has been busy. He's released a new song recently with Sway Lee from Sunflower for the animated Spider-Man movie, or series, I think. But anyway, yeah, that's just more of an R&B tune. But of course, recently he's had a lot of, a lot of uh, fame, and this new album has done really well. Of course, Better Now is another good song. That's up on the Billboard, like 100, it's like third or something. And Psycho, of course, is a big tune. Another featuring on there. So he's been busy. He has been, and he, he is a genuine geezer. I mean, there's so many funny videos. I've seen of him over the years. He's a normal guy, though. He he plays Call of Duty, you know. Barricade up. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, shot, 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 shot. Wow, you're going to get shit. Fuck! Ah! You can, you can do ah! <laughs> yeah. Come here, crawl over here. Uh, you can right. revive really quickly too. I'm busy. I'm busy concentrating on the entertainment value. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I I get him. Oh. Oh. Hey, we'll take it. That's a, that's a warm up round. It's just what we. For bitches, man. Fuck all that shit, man. We don't say something. Pull up with the stick like I'm John Wick. Damn. And Justin Bieber, the fuck you post cups set up. Did you guys set up the cups? The cups were they already set up? I didn't do that. He did that. Justin's He's a up. little prankster, a little gooster, gaster. He got me good. I still haven't got him back yet. I think I'm gonna steal his dog. That's good. That's a good. That's a good one. <laughs> oh no, you can keep it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How do the kids in junior high treat the kid who wears a suit to school every day? Is that a cool thing to do or do they tease you? Do they make fun of you? <laughs> That's a great question. You know I've had my fair share of uh, kids used to throw gum in my hair. They used to throw gum in Look your hair. Look at me now, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm eating hot, very hot wings. The typical guy of that age. So a lot of people can relate to him. Like Of all the money he's got, he's still quite... Down to earth, considering. I mean, some of these rappers just beyond belief. These artists, like all the, all the fame and all the money. But I must say, of Let's course, after Rockstar, like I became a big fan of Tom Savage, and he's had a lot of success as well. I might do a separate video about him, but of course, I couldn't play any of the lyrics because I just offend someone. Anyway, but uh, Twenty One Savage, yeah, he featured on Rockstar, and that is a quality video. That's just, it's just so badass. <laughs> and it, it's got to be my favourite. Probably a lot of people's favourites. But I like some of the more chilled ones. Like, uh, White Iverson, of course. Go Flex on the old album. Uh, Money Made Me Do It, that's a good one. And to, towards this new album, there's different feel to it. Like, Stay is a good one. Man, my life's so sweet, I feel uh, Zach and Codeine, Rich and Sad. Rich and Sad has got a sick beat to it. Which I've used in the vlog. Paranoid. So they're a bit different, the songs. But, yeah, his voice is just... It's quite r and isn't it? He, he can rap every now and then. Can he rap? Yeah, but... but um, I've always been a big fan, so... To, to do a vlog about it, it's just... It was about time. It was about time, guys. And yeah, so I'm about to play FIFA. And... Play Post Malone. Rockstar. Of course. So guys, whatever you're doing, wherever you are going, just enjoy it. Just you are in control, so whatever it is, just you can choose how you feel. So if something's making you down, that's you you know, you can choose to feel that way about it. You can choose to try and be positive and see the the upside. I mean it's not always easy to see that. I mean all the stuff I've been through recently, you know, since September. Uh, we had loss in the family, so 
lost my grandma, so that was that was a tough time. And we were still getting over it, of course. Of course, my parents were with me. Um, you know, all the, the illness I had after that. I was in hospital, I remember telling you a bit about that, doing a few vlogs. And I remember just thinking, how can I actually tell you guys all this? It's too much. Like, we need to get through it and then, like, react after. So since then I've been getting back to normal, but it's like an ongoing thing. So it's called, what I had was called intermittent valveless, to do with the intestines, it's not pleasant. Basically means they stop working sometimes. So, yeah, that means staying on top of it. I've had to change my diet, but of course, I'm trying to gain weight as well. Because I've been told that by many doctors that in general I need to gain weight for my own like health and well-being. So I'm needing to eat more, but at the same time be careful not to cause this problem in my intestine to happen again. And it's risky because it could happen any time. But I know what to do to prevent it, and I'm doing that. So in that sense, it's positive. But at first, when I realised like it's going to be an ongoing thing, I was like, no way, I can't accept this. This is not. This shouldn't be part of my life. But I've, I've thought about it and I thought, why? Why be negative? Like, it's far worse situations. I mean, they've, they've told me what you know. They say, okay, you, you, one way to solve it, you could have an operation, but that's like last resort and risky and really not worth it anyway. Because of the obviously pre pre-existing condition I have, so to have this operation would be a big risk, even for a healthy person, a person in, like a normal everybody person. So yeah, I don't wanna go on too much and moan, because I've been through it, I've been, you know, talked about it a lot with family and friends. Uh, so I got better from that, and a week later it happened again. Kind of, not on the same level, not exactly intermittent powerless, but it was related to the same problem. So I thought, okay, let me just get my head around this. <laughs> And so after that, that's when I found out that it could happen again. But I've got to change my diet to prevent it. But at the same time, I've been trying to eat more, but like more often. So like every hour and, and a bit, I'm eating something to gain something with calories in it. But at the same time, I'm, ri I'm risking it if I eat too much at once. That's what they've said. So with all these doctors, I've been a bit frustrated because one says one thing, one says another. But I've realised, why be angry at them? I mean, they're doing their job. I was think I was so just mad at the NHS. The, the way it's run is just terrible. But I'm not going to go into that. That's another video. That's not my, well, yeah, the NHS is terrible, full stop. And half the people working there admitted that. The nurses were like, yeah, no. I mean, I was there 12 hours when I first had this problem. And I didn't know what my problem was at the time. Could have been something worse. So I had an x-ray, a CT scan. I mean, you know what this anyway. But anyway, guys, that is it. So yeah, it was two vlogs in one, this. I was gonna save this bit for tomorrow, but I just got it out there. The way the conversation went. And this did feel like a conversation. So I'm glad, guys, because I really want to start a podcast. I mean, that's the first time I've actually said I want to start a podcast. But they all do. All these YouTubers, they all have podcasts. Why don't I? Why not? You know. Oh, I thought that went off or something. But yeah. So, this is me, Louis21. I hope you've enjoyed the recent content. I've enjoyed making it so much. I'm just glad to be here, to be able to do this on a daily basis. Well, not a daily basis anymore, but you know. And I want to do a vlog soon. I've got to go out with the family later today. And that will be in the later, later vlog. Depending, depending. If, well, yeah, anyway, that's a surprise for another day or not. But for now, enjoy a bit of Post Malone. This kid is changing the game. Kid? Well, yeah, anyway, but just, yeah, another great artist. There's too many out there, I can't keep up. But I want to do one on Post Malone. I've done what? I mean, I want to do one on 21 Savage, if I can speak English, or Italian. But that is it for now. Take it easy, fam, and I'll see you in the next video.
And with that, Chi, ciao. Put the song out. Went to bed, woke up, Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller, crazy plays, everything like that. I sat there, I was freaking out. Like I was going crazy.